I'm Dr. Norman McLean. I did uh, practice within obstetrics and gynaecology for nearly 40 years. I've done uh, in the area of maybe 8,000 births. That would include maybe 2,000 caesarean sections. I have performed abortions uh, early in my career. Over that time, I would have certainly done between one and 200 terminations of pregnancy. So I know about the technique. Today, I'm going to describe a first trimester surgical abortion, otherwise called a suction DNC dilatation and curatage. This is the most frequently performed abortion technique and is usually typically performed between 5 and 13 weeks of pregnancy. After administering anesthesia, usually a sedative, the abortionist uses a speculum like this. This speculum is placed inside the vagina and then opened using the screw on the side, allowing the abortionist to see the cervix, the entrance to the uterus. The cervix acts as a gate that stays closed for the duration of pregnancy, protecting the baby until it is ready for birth. The abortionist uses a series of metal rods called dilators like these, which increase in thickness and diameter and the abortionist inserts them into the cervix progressively to dilate it, gaining access to the inside of the uterus where the baby resides. At this stage of pregnancy, the baby has a heartbeat, fingers, arms and legs, but its bones are still weak and fragile. After the cervix is dilated, the abortionist will insert a suction catheter similar to this. This is a plastic, clear plastic catheter, firm, uh, which has a hole through which the contents of the uterus are sucked and uh, these contents are dragged down and into either a syringe of this nature, a plastic syringe, which can exert considerable force, or connected to a vacuum extractor, a mechanical electrical vacuum extractor. The suction machine has a force 10 to 20 times more powerful than the usual household vacuum cleaner. And using this technique, the baby is rapidly torn apart by the force of the suction and squeezed through the tubing down the suction tube into the syringe or vacuum machine. Following the baby, the placenta is sucked out of the womb. Because the procedure is blind, that is, the abortionist is simply feeling what he is doing within the womb. One of the common problems is getting everything out so that it's not unusual for parts of the baby to remain within the womb and parts of the placenta uh, which feed the baby remain within the womb. This can lead to ongoing bleeding and infection. And in an attempt to prevent this, the abortionist will use a curette to scrape the lining of the uterus. A curette is basically a long-handled curved blade. Once the uterus is empty, the speculum is removed and the abortion is complete. The risks of suction DNC include damage to the organs. For example, perforation of the uterus or laceration of the cervix. Potentially injury can occur to the intestines, the bladder or nearby blood vessels. Hemorrhage and infection can occur and in rare instances even death. Future pregnancies are also at greater risk for loss or premature delivery due to abortion related injury to the cervix or uterus. I stopped doing abortions because I realized this is not right. This is not what I should be doing. Uh, this is not the medicine, the uh, life-giving, healing medicine.
that I wanted to practice. And from that day, I stopped.